Okay then gang, so when we use a stack navigator, we get a nice header at the top of each screen inside that stack navigator automatically for free. But the header at the minute just looks a bit blank and it would be nice to add a title for each screen where the header shows and also maybe to colorize it a little bit. Now to do this, we need to supply some navigation options to our different screens. And we can do this in several different ways. The way I'm gonna do it is by adding a property inside each of our screens right here. And that property is called navigation options. So after the screen property, I'm gonna do a comma and this is for the home screen. And I'm gonna do another property called navigation options, like so. And this is gonna be an object. So we can specify the different navigation options for this particular screen, the home screen, inside this object. And the first thing I'm going to do is a title property. And this is going to be Game Zone. So if I save it now, then we should get this title in the home screen header. So let's have a look. Game Zone. There it is. If we go to the other screen, though, we don't get that title. So let's copy this and add it to the review details as well, but we'll change game zone to review details. Okay, so let's save this now and preview. And hopefully we should see in a second that if we go to one of these screens, we can see review details now. Awesome. So that's how we add a title. We can also add some header styles to colorize this a little bit. And we do that via a header styles property. So header styles like so, and that is an object. And in here we can specify some different properties again. One of those is the background color, and that is gonna be a hex code EEE. -E -E. So just a light gray. So if I save this now, we should see that the background of the home header should be gray. And okay, it doesn't look like that's worked. And that's because stupidly, it's not header styles, it's header style. So save that again, and hopefully this should work. Okay, so now we can see that this is a gray color. Now, if we go to the other screen, it doesn't pick that up. We have to specify that over here as well. So let's grab that, and after the title, paste it in again, save it, and we should now see this background color on the review detail screen as well as the home screen, which we do awesome. Now, this thing right here is the same for each screen. And if we had more screens, it probably would be the same as well. So it wouldn't make much sense to add the same code to every screen. Instead, what we can do is pass a second parameter or a second argument rather to this create stack navigator function after screens. And that is gonna be an object. And this object can contain some default navigation options. So these default navigation options will be the default options that show on every screen that we have in our navigator, our stack navigator, unless it's overridden individually. So now what I could do is comment these out. And in fact, let me copy one of them because what I'm gonna do is put a header style property in here instead and have the background color as the same gray color. If I save this now though, it should still work. Both of these screens should get this default style and we can see it works here and also on the other screen as well. So we can add these individually and we can override them if we wanted to. For example, if I do 333 here, then it's going to be a much darker gray on the home screen header because we're overriding it on the screen level. But the default option, the backup option is this color. So if I go to the other screen, then we get this for the review detail still. Okay. So now we can add a second property to the header style, and that is gonna be the height. So that's the height of the header itself. And I'm gonna set this to be 60 pixels. So if I save that now, we should see probably not an awful lot of difference, to be honest. I think it just makes it a little bit bigger, a bit more breathing room around the title, that's all. Okay, another property we can add to default navigation options is the header tint color. So let me do that as well, header tint color and this is basically in other words the color of the text so this is going to be a hex code i'm going to make it 444 so it just lightens this a little bit because currently i think that's black by default and i think it's a little harsh so by making it 444 it just lightens it a little bit so let's have a look at that 
yeah, it looks a bit better to me, okay? So, there we go, my friends. That's how we add some navigation options to the header. There are more things we can do with this, and we are going to be doing more as we go forward as well, including creating a complete custom header. So we will revisit this, but you can also read more about it on the docs as well if you wish, and I'll leave a link to those down below.